the username or wow they actually match these shoes perfectly cute it's getting a little bit lighter but flimsy as his hat is it looks really good when it's on Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title of today's video, we are doing a designer shoe collection. Um, I do one of these almost every single year and I had a couple of requests in, I can't remember what video it was. I had recently posted a video and a couple of people had asked me to do an updated designer footwear uh, collection. Now, I am by no, I am in no way saying that you need to spend this much money on shoes. I feel like you guys know my personality enough, but I am a shoe fanatic. I love shoes. It is the only thing really that I splurge on. I don't buy designer bags. I don't buy designer clothes really. I don't really, I, I don't really spend my money on other things when it comes to completely splurging aside from shoes. It's just my favorite ever since I was little. I've always loved shoes and for me, they are just worth it in my opinion, to splurge on. I'm not gonna go in any specific order. I was going to do like ones that I think are worth it and ones that aren't. And as I was going through my collection, I was like, I think they're all worth it. I love and wear all of them. Um, I also am not going to be doing a try on just because I have a lot of shoes here and it will take me two hours to film this video and then like six hours to edit it. And I don't have the time to do that to be, I'm just gonna be super, super honest. So I'm just gonna show you guys all the shoes that I have to talk about. I have some flats and then I have a good amount of heels. I like to splurge more on heels than I do on flats. That's just my personal preference. And if you follow me over on Instagram, you will see all of these shoes. I have worn and posted all of these shoes before. So if you guys wanna see like more in depth of how I style things, I highly, highly recommend checking out my Instagram. I will leave my handle right here because I post way more detail on Instagram because it's faster, it's easier. You snap a picture and you post and it's just it's just super, super simple. So before we get started, this hat is from Target. I will leave a link down below. I'm just wearing a very old cardigan and an essential crop from BNC. And my nails, I will probably get asked. It is called, it's an OPI gel polish called I See Food and I Eat It. I guess I'm gonna get started with sneakers. These are the only pair of designer sneakers that I have. I do have like Nike and stuff like that, but those aren't like really designer. So these are YSL sneakers. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen me. I These are like the only white sneakers that I wear. I cannot remember the name of them for the life of me, but I will leave them linked down below. I actually got these, what was it for? Some holiday, I can't remember if it was my birthday, anniversary, Christmas, I, I genuinely don't remember. I love them because they're super simple and I wanted a pair of sneakers. They come with like, more of a beigey bottom. I wanted a pair of sneakers that when they get dirty, they look good. Kind of like a golden goose, but I didn't want to get golden gooses. They did take a long time to break in because the inside is leather. It's not like the outside is leather and then the inside is like a soft material. It's leather all throughout. They are super, super comfortable. I wear these a lot. Like these are pretty much the only white sneakers that I'm always wearing like on Instagram and story posts and things like that. I love them. Do I think you need to spend this much money on a pair of white sneakers? Absolutely not. You can get a pair of Vans or you get a pair of Uptowns or a pair of Adidas and it will be per perfectly fine. I just wanted to splurge on these um, and I love them. I wear them a lot. They've definitely basically already paid for themselves. I always try to look at how much I'm gonna wear something versus how much it costs just so I can see if it's gonna be worth the money that I'm spending and I have worn these probably over a hundred times already. I love them. Next up, I will talk about probably my favorite flat that I've ever purchased that is designer and they are the Christian Dior Mules, which are these right here. I got these last fall and I was after them pretty much the entire quarantine. I wanted them so badly. They were basically like in a very, very late birthday gift to myself because I wanted them so bad. My cousin was actually able to get them for me um, in New York because he's friends with somebody that works for Bergdorf's I think so he was able to get them for me and I love this color combination It is my absolute favorite because I wear a lot of This like nude color and it just goes with everything. It kind of looks like a chocolate brown with cream But it's definitely more of like a burgundy, but I absolutely love them I wear them so much if I'm wearing like a plain colored outfit. I will quickly grab these um, I wear them with jeans. I wear them with shorts. I wear them with swim. I wear them with everything They are pricey Everything here is pricey, but these are really pricey for a slide or like a flat shoe. 
in my opinion i love them so much and i wanted them so badly that i looked at them for a very long time and i've mentioned before in like any of my videos if i am thinking about something non-stop that's when i know i really want it and it's not just like a phase for me so because i was looking at these and wanting them for literal months it ended up being worth it for me next up are my latest purchase in the flat department these are my chloe mules if you guys are not new to my channel then you are not new to these and if you follow me on instagram you have also seen these a bajillion times these are also a pair of shoes that i wanted last summer however i ended up i didn't end up getting them because i didn't know what color i wanted and i ended up seeing them on sale on a brand called or on a website called essence so i ended up purchasing them through there i think they were on sale for like two something as opposed to three something so they were like a hundred dollars off i would say i love them i feel like with these you definitely have to size up as well as these i have these in a size 38 and i have these in a size 39 these i definitely could have gone up to like a 38 and a half just because they run a little bit tighter i've worn them so many times that i have been able to loosen them up but with these 100 size up because this is canvas this will like destroy your feet if you don't size up now we're gonna go into heels um again not gonna go in any particular order so when it came to me splurging on heels, I wanted to splurge on the two colors that I knew I was going to wear all the time, black and nude. So in all of my designer shoes, I've always worn, I've always purchased black and nude first. And then if there's something that I really, really wanted in a color, then I had to sit there and like really think about it for a very, very long time. So, so the first pair that I had to talk about are my black Louboutins. These are the Pagal, everybody says them differently, Pagal, Foley, Foley, Foley's, whatever, they're the Louboutins. They are 100 um, mm, so they are about four inches, which I personally feel like is my sweet spot when it comes to Louboutins. Louboutins, like if you do the Socate that are 120, they are extremely difficult to walk in. They hurt your feet. It's just, it's very difficult. But these are the perfect heel height for me. They're a pointed toe, which is my personal favorite. I have used and abused these shoes so badly i actually bought these um pre-loved on poshmark i was kind of into getting a pair that were pre-loved because it meant that they were already broken in as long as they were you know good as far as like not falling apart i was all about it i think i paid like 200 bucks for these pre-loved um and i absolutely love them they're the only black pump that i have i don't own any other pair and i wear them with literally everything a lot of people think that uh louboutins are uncomfortable i a lot of people ask me if i think certain shoes are uncomfortable and i really feel like that question is subjective because i wear heels a lot i used to have to wear heels to work i'm just i'm very used to wearing heels and i'm very comfortable wearing heels there are heels that i think are better to like stay in long like in a long time for but in my opinion i can stay in them for hours on end then the other pair that i purchased which are my nude ones these are the exact same shoe but these are the patent leather ones and patent leather in my opinion in my opinion is a little bit stiffer but i think that the way that they keep their shape is just amazing i bought these pre-loved as well and i wish i would have paid more attention to the photos that they posted because the woman posted the back of the shoes and i'm not sure if you can see right here it's kind of like ink splattered right there or something i have continued to use them i don't really care i'm still wearing them and until these completely fall apart i won't buy another pair because every other thing about them is in perfect condition i have gotten them resold um, not resold. I've gotten the heel tips replaced many times every time I wear them down to the The metal I just go and get them replaced and I also got um, The red soles put on you can get this done at any shoe repair place They put the red soles on there so that it has like a nice grip for your shoe because the paint on the bottom of Louboutins Makes them very very slippery once you get them like scratched up on the bottom of like the ground or like cement or something They're pretty good, but in the beginning they are very very slippery and this just prolongs them for a very long time now i have my other pair of louboutins which tyler actually bought me these for valentine's day like three years ago and these are a baby pink color hopefully you can see the color compared to the nude yeah you can these are the exact same ones as these they are the pigal foley foley's foley's whatever and i am obsessed with these these were the first like designer colorful shoe that i ever purchased well i didn't purchase them tyler got them for me and i'm obsessed with them i wear them a lot when i wear um light colors for spring i love doing monochromatic looks with this with these um like i'll wear pink with pink they make me feel like barbie i'm obsessed with them i think they're so 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 cute i have gotten these as well 
capped or sold on the bottom and I get the heels the heel caps replaced all the time I'm always dropping these things off to get the heel caps replaced. Okay, I guess I'll finish on my Louboutin craze now these here you guys if you follow me on here or watch my videos often you know that i have shown these so many times these were my last louboutin purchase i got these for myself for my birthday last year it was my 30th birthday so i wanted to splurge on a pair of single strap louboutin sandals these are called jonatinas they are very very difficult to find so when i was able to find them i jumped on it i got them at bergdorf's as well um, but i bought them like online these um i have worn a lot as you can see i never got the bottoms uh sold i don't know why i didn't i just never did um but i never got the bottoms sold i have gotten the heel caps replaced many times and i just love these they are absolutely perfect they have a clear like acrylic i guess i don't know if this would be called acrylic plastic little thing right here so it looks like the strap is like floating around your ankle I wanted these for such a long time that I was like, okay, I know that these are going to be expensive. So I waited and waited and waited. And finally, like a year later, when I was like, you know what? I want them still. I decided I was going to get them for my birthday. But I wear these so much. I love them with jeans. I think they look so cute with like shorter dresses or shorts, like longer shorts, little things like that. They're definitely one of my favorite designer purchases I've ever made. All right. Now I'm going to talk about shoots. And if you... Again, I'm going to keep saying if you follow me or if you've been following me for a while, you know that Schutz is one of my favorite shoe designers for a comfortable, lower cost shoe. Um, most of their shoes, I think, cap at like 250 I could be wrong, but I think that's like right around that, like the, the cap. These were the very first ones that I bought. I bought these like f almost five years ago and they are going so strong. I've never had to replace the cap. The heel caps on them they are so well made Schutz is a brazilian designer and they just do shoes so well they're katie lee's which this is the style of the shoe i also had them in nude but i i like destroyed them which is why i ended up purchasing the jonatinas but i love them this is like a snake skin one and i love this for whenever i want to wear I'm wearing a neutral outfit or something that's like a fun color, but I don't want to wear just like a nude heel or a black heel. I, I will usually wear this. I love how these look with like a tan outfit and all black outfit. These are definitely one of my favorite pairs of shoes and their shoes are so comfortable. They're freaking amazing. Another pair of shoots that I have are these here. What are these called? Altinas. There we go. Um, these actually strap around your ankle like this and I'm obsessed with them. I actually bought these for my best friend for her birthday and I like them so much that I got them for myself as well. I love this like single or this double strap right here. I think it's just super cute. It's kind of like a square uh, toe and then it has a skinny heel. I have worn these a lot as you can see by back here and the bottom. I don't think they have these anymore. I got them last spring. So I'm pretty sure they don't have these anymore, but if I can find this style, I will leave them linked down below. Now I'm gonna go into the other pair that I really waited for a long time to purchase, and they are these right here. These are from Saint Laurent, and I love them. They are just a simple, single strap, black, ankle tie, ankle strap sandal, and I actually got these on the Real Real as well. I've gotten a couple of my pairs off of the Real Real um, because they were in such incredible condition. Even now, I wear them all the time, and I think because they're patent, they just don't look worn, like, at all. The only place that looks worn are the bottoms, even, like, the backs of them. Like, I've never gotten the heel caps replaced or anything like that. I got these in a 37 and a half, which is my true size when it comes to like sandals and heels these are a little bit less comfortable i still love them i still love wearing them these are not as comfortable as more of my others but that doesn't stop me from wearing them i wear them all the time and i just suck it up because i'm used to wearing heels anyway love the way that they look on the feet because they have a very very skinny strap right there and i just love them i would repurchase them time and time again they're the only pair of black single strap heels that i have same as black pumps same, same as my nude pumps i literally only invested in the neutrals that i knew i wanted because everything else i know is more fun and trendy and stuff like that now the last single strap heel that i have if you watch my birthday haul you would have seen these these are my stuart wiseman's and these are the nudists on camera you you can't even really see the color of them but they are like a silver and gold 
like braided sort of fabric and material so when you see them in person they kind of look sparkly but they're not it's just the hints of silver that are in the shoes i got these for myself for my birthday and i am so glad that i did i've been looking at these for a while but i knew i didn't need a nude or a black pair so i went with something a little bit more fun if i wanted to wear like something for the holidays or my birthday which is what i did or just something that i wanted to wear more of a fun color instead of nude or black kind of like the pink ones i got these and i absolutely love them i got these on the real real as well these were like a steal i think they were like 130 bucks on the real real so i like snatched them up because i think retail they're like four something um these are five inches in height so they are taller but i love the way that it looks it's such a sexy silhouette on your feet very very skinny strap around the ankle and i just i love them now i have some colors so these are I think like the second pair of designer shoes I ever purchased and if you know me blue is my absolute favorite color so I knew I wanted to get a pair of blue shoes I love them for anything that I want a fun pop of color if I want to wear just like something super monochromatic and then wear a blue shoe these are Stuart Wiseman they are extremely comfortable they're four inches so they're just like a standard heel height I have worn these so much. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me wear them. They are my true size, size seven and a half, and they fit perfectly. These are ones I'll never get rid of. Now I have a pair of Tony Biancos, and Tony Bianco is more of a, I guess the, I don't wanna use the word affordable, cause I don't wanna use that word in a way that people will look at me like I'm crazy, but these are a less expensive designer. There we go, I'll say that. So these are, uh, from a brand called Tony Bianco. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen them on Instagram or just seen their website or on I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of you guys know About Tony Bianco's I bought these I don't remember maybe last year the year before uh, These were called These are called the Marcy's and they have dupes to this style pretty much everywhere You can get them on like ego official or whatever But I wanted something that was really good quality as you guys know I like to splurge on my heels because you're not about to catch me with a broken heel walking down the street So these are so comfortable probably the most comfortable heels I have I don't think they sell these anymore if they happen to I will leave them linked down below But if you're trying to find this specific shoe like resold I would check the real real I would check Poshmark Macari places like that um, but they're so comfortable and so pretty. I like them with just like a really plain black dress or black outfit. I just think they're super, super, super pretty. These are probably one of my favorite shoes, if not my favorite shoes of all time. And I am so glad that I bought them and I wish I would have bought them sooner. These are the Gucci Ursula sandals. And again, if you follow me on Instagram, you see me wear these. These are one of my favorite shoes of all time. I wear them as much as humanly possible, especially in the spring. An all white outfit, a cute little romper, some cute little like shorts, jeans with a white button up or a white top. This is literally always my go-to sandal. The way that they look on your feet is like, sh ugh impeccable they look so good on your feet these are five inches as well so they are uh pretty high if you're not used to walking in something that high uh these might not be for you i bought these on the real real because they are no longer sold they are in very 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 old collection but i knew i wanted them and i have n i've never once regretted it they are so beautiful they look so sexy on your feet especially if you're wearing a shoe that or if you're wearing a bottom or like something that shows your legs oh so so pretty all right guys so that is everything that i wanted to show you for all of my designer shoes this was very highly requested so i hope you guys enjoy it i'm sorry that i did not do try-ons but this would have taken me forever forever to do especially because everything has so many straps but i hope you enjoyed either way make sure you're following me on instagram to see like live photos and stories and stuff like that for when i actually wear and style and put clothing together i hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe if you haven't and i will see you in the next video